Hello all my faithful YouTube followers, Corn Beef here. Um, I'd start off by saying this is not a let's play, not a playthrough, nothing like that. Uh, just thought that I would post a quick, quick update for y'all. Uh, I have not abandoned the channel. I took a little bit of a break. I've been meaning to get a, a capture card. And so I won't have to voice over pre-recorded footage. Um, but that's not going quite as planned. I do fully intend to get my YouTube channel back up and running. My man Shibashi has got his channel up and going. We actually did a playthrough last night of A Way Out, but the the voices didn't quite come through on that. So I believe I'll start start my YouTube channel back by playing this game, Knights of the Old Republic. Absolutely brilliant game, one of my favorites in the world. Uh, slight channel changes as well. I'm still not sure about my upload schedule. I'm not sure what kind of quota I'll be able to meet. I'm not. Pr I'm not going to promise daily uploads. Hell, I'm not even going to promise weekly uploads. We see how that happened last time. I, pro <laughs> I, I said that uh, I would be uploading daily, and then ended up not posting another video for two years. So, <laughs> um, yeah. I'm excited about it. I will be changing my channel name to Corn Beef Incorporated. My new nickname and my new gamer tag, Big Daddy Corn Beef. If any of y'all want to add me on Xbox Live, um, I'll be posting Knights of the Old Republic, obviously, more story-based playthroughs, uh, Fallout, um, The Witcher, maybe. Might post a little bit of The Witcher, Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption 2 coming out later this year as well. Um, yeah, I'm excited to get to get it back rolling again. I'm I'm still trying to get a capture card. They're a little expensive for my taste, and even then, I'm not I'm not even sure what kind of software to be downloading or what uh you know how to even use it. But I will get all that figured out, and hopefully, I'll be able to add live commentary to my playthroughs instead of just commentating over over footage but I believe that I'm going to go ahead and start off with my KOTOR playthrough and just get it up and rolling. I'll probably be doing the the canonical Revan playthrough just you know using the uh, using the mullet man appearance and you know doing the light side on everything. Might do a dark Jedi playthrough I don't know. I love the dark side. The dark side is much funner. I like the ending more as well. Um, so I guess I will start off by talking about the game. I need to fill the, I need to fill the time frame for this video anyway. Uh, KOTOR, one of my fondest childhood memories. It is, it's, it's such a masterpiece of a game. I've always been a huge Star Wars nerd anyway. I sat around and talked about it for hours. And whenever I was younger, I didn't really know what I was doing with KOTOR, but they added it to backwards compatibility. And I've been playing the living hell out of it. I've had eight characters, and I've done just about everything there is to do in it, except for the Bastila Romance. I have not done that. And uh, during my playthrough, I will probably shut the hell up during cutscenes and conversations, you know, because it is a very story based game. And yeah, I would not want to ruin the experience. It has a. Uh, one of the biggest twists in Star Wars history. I'm not going to ruin it, but yeah, it it it, it hit me like a like a <laughs> it it kicked me like a mule whenever I uh whenever I first played through this game. I never actually beat it whenever I was a kid either. I I always got like I always got to Dantooine and I never even got past that. I I, I just like I always ran around Terrace. In the very beginning. <laughs> Carthanassi. My favorite character. He's... He's... Um, as a light-sided character, Karth is a very likable character, but on Dark Side, he comes off as a bit of a... Uh, a bit of a bitch is the only word I can use to describe him. 
<laughs> and if you're a female dark-sided character, then you can romance them and kill them at the end of the game. And I actually really enjoyed doing that. <laughs> it was it was kind of sad to kill him, but at the same time, he being such a you know so, such a puss with a dark-sided character, it was fun. Um, yeah. A very, very fun game. So I, I thought that it would only be fit that I start uh, reboot my channel with this game. <laughs> Not much to really say about it without without spoiling it. I guess I can talk about the gameplay it's a little different it's not like you know modern day rpgs like skyrim and and all, all that shit um it, it can get a little complicated with the leveling system and all that it, it's a lot closer to uh dungeons and dragons type pen and paper leveling up and combat and everything the combat is turn-based um very very subtly turn-based um kind of kind of gives you a, a kind of false sense of action there's there's not really very much going on in front of you but it still it, it feels actiony you know actually really like how was it how it was executed all of these old rpgs use that kind of use that kind of system and i actually really like it i like going back and playing old rpgs i'm not too into uh I'm not too into newer RPGs like Skyrim and Witcher and all that, but I mean they are fun. Don't get me wrong, but they're nothing like the originals, nothing like the classics. I tell you. Um, I'll probably be doing a lot more backwards compatible games, games from my childhood. Just go down to take a trip, uh, take a trip down memory lane, get that nostalgia factor in, and it should be should be a lot of good fun. Um. I've also got Ninja Gaiden. I never played that as a kid, but it's it's difficult. It's a very hard game, <laughs> but it's it's very fun, very enjoyable. And I might do a playthrough of that simply because I'm I can't really be asked to play it to play through it by myself without uh without recording or anything. Probably be a lot more interested in it if I was doing it for YouTube. Uh, Fable and Bioshock, definitely. I'm probably going to wait until I get my capture card to do GTA 5 or any other online game like that so that uh, so that you guys can, can hear me and my friends in the party chat. It's usually... <laughs> it's usually a very good time. But until then, I can probably just do these uh these playthroughs these story based games and just commentate over that in the meantime give you all some content it's probably not going to be quality content but it's going to be content nonetheless i'm going to fill the gaps like i said i'm not promising any kind of upload schedule but i am trying to get back into it uh shabashki nick has actually actually deeply inspired me to do this uh i thought he was giving up on his channel as well we kind of we kind of got into it together in the beginning there and um, I will probably be doing vlogs as well, like, you know, video recordings, you know, just me talking about random shit, I guess. That, that's what most of this is going to be, me talking about random shit. I'm just going to kick back, relax, and, you know, spill my mind, whatever's on my mind, uh, about video games, about, you know, uh, I'm a huge nerd on this kind of shit. I can sit around and talk about Star Wars for hours, so y'all can stay. Y'all can uh, look forward to hearing my uh, my theories about Revan and and Malik and you know all, all the anything related to Kotor. Kotor is my favorite era of Star Wars. Um, not to the Old Republic one, two, and the Old Republic. I've really been itching to get back into the Old Republic as well, but I do not have a PC. So it looks like we're coming around to the end, so I will bid y'all a farewell, and as I said, no promises, I'm not promising anything with this channel, but I am going to try to get back into it. So I reckon that'll be it, there's y'all's little update, peace out, take it easy.